Okay, I'd like to bring the Town of Wappinger Zoning Board of Appeals meeting to order. Roll call, please, Bay. Mr. Delacour? Here. Mr. Lauren Jenner? Here. Mr. Shaw? Here. Mr. Barr? Here. Mr. Gillardy? Here. All right, first order of business tonight, acceptance of the minutes from June 13th, 2023. Everybody had a chance to review? Yes. Any yes. changes? No. 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 All right, you have a motion to accept the minutes as motion written? Motion to accept as written. Second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. All right. Next on the agenda, public hearing. Appeal number 237796, area variance, Sean M. Adams. Seeking an area variance section 24037 of district regulations in an R40 slash 80 zoning district where 50 feet to the rear property line is required. The applicant can provide 27 feet for the installation of a 14 foot by 30 <coughs> foot above ground pool, thus requesting a variance of 23 feet. The property is located at 38 Red Hawk Hollow Road on 1.00 acres and is identified as tax grid number 6359027955444 in the town of Wappinger. I have a motion to open a Motion public open hearing. a public hearing. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Mr. Adams. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. <laughs> For the benefit of the board and anybody else listening in, just a brief description of what you need and why you need it. Uh, yes, I'm looking for a variance uh, for the rear property line, 23 feet, uh, for the installation of a pool. Got it. And we were out to your home this past weekend. Uh, we were all there, so we all see, see, saw what you got going on. You got some topography to deal with in the backyard, to say the yeah. least, right? And um, I believe, too, now from from your original application now we decreased the variance slightly right because you shifted the pool a little closer to the house yeah a couple right. of got it the real quick i'm looking here right and you got you got well and septic to deal with mm -hmm. as well uh back there uh i mean you had everything marked out when we got there answered all questions when we were at the site right, if you guys have any other additional questions for mr adams i don't uh, I, no, I don't. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I, I mean, we, we really see what you got. You know, you're up against there. Is there anybody in the audience to here to uh, speak on or about this application? Any questions? Okay. So we have a motion, then, please, to close the public motion hearing. Motion close. Have a second? Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. All right. Can I have, then, a motion to grant or deny the applicant the variance? Make a motion to grant the variance. Uh, you really have no other location that would, would work for a pool. Uh, you could put a side yard, but then it essentially appears as though it's in your front yard, which I think is the worst condition. The benefit can be achieved by no other feasible means. There's no undesirable change in the neighborhood. The request is verging on substantial. No adverse physical or environmental effect, and the difficulty is self-created. Second. We have a second? Second. We have a second. Can I have a roll call, please, B? Mr. Yes. Mr. Lawrence Yes. Mr. Shaw? Yes. Mr. Ball? Yes. Mr. Gillardy? Yes. Okay, so your variance has been granted. Great. Okay, you're all set. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Next up on the agenda, appeal number 237797, area variance, Eileen Magnata seeking an area variance section 24037 of district regulations in an R20 zoning district. Where 20 feet to the side right property line is required, the applicant can provide 8.6 feet for the legalization of an existing 186 foot screened in porch, thus requesting a variance of 11.4 feet. The property is located at 48 the Garmall Hills Road, on 1.00 acres and is identified as tax grid number 6258027778278 in the town of Wappinger. Could I have a motion please to open the public Motion hearing. open the public hearing. Could I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay. So, Hi for there. the benefit of the board and anybody listening in, state please your name and I understand you're representing Ms. Magnata, right? Yes, I am. My name okay. is uh, Lillian Moynihan from Coldwell Banker Realty. Gotcha. I'm the agent for the sale of the property. 
and as you stated, they're looking for an 11.4 foot variance variance. For the scraped porch. Right. Yeah, we, we, we were at the house. We uh, saw the porch that was going on. Uh, we understand and saw pictures. We There was somewhat of a question whether the, the dimension that we were given, right, was to actual screen and porch or to the steps that came out from the screen and porch. And looking at the survey, it was pretty clear that that dimension was to the screen and porch and not right. the steps. So we had uh, let Ms. Magnata know that you know the variance is going to be to the screen and porch and not the steps. So we, okay. we received the pictures that she sent that, that the steps were removed. Perfect, okay. okay. So we, we got that. So there's a little bit of a caveat. Right? Uh, the variance we can vote on tonight and we will do that. Uh, but with the steps being removed, she may have some other issues she needs to deal with with the building department. Right. Okay, but it won't affect our proceeding tonight. Okay. Okay. She w can I can I say something? Sure. Yeah. She was told that she would need to block off uh, with a two by four. I have a photo here. Of right. The steps that were removed, and the two by four that was placed mm -hmm. so that nobody could enter or exit from right. that area. Right. We 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 see we got those pictures. Oh, you did. Perfect. Yeah, we, okay. we saw it. That's fine. Uh, but again, she, she's going to have some other things she's going to need to deal with at the billing department. So, I mean, guys, we, we were out there, we saw what she had, everything was pretty much m marked out. We know what's going on as far as the variance is concerned. Anybody have any other questions for the applicant? No, no. I think so. uh, yeah, I think uh, pretty straightforward from when, from when we were out there. Anybody in the audience have anything to uh, comment on? Any questions, concerns? Okay. I think I have a motion, please, to close the motion public Motion to hearing. close public hearing. All right. Can I have a motion then to? I'll second that. Go on. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't second that, did I? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Moved. All right. Now, could I have a motion, please, to uh, grant or deny the applicant the variance? I will make a motion to grant the applicant the variance. Uh, I don't think that benefit can be achieved by any other feasible means. It does not create any the undesirable change or character to the nearby properties. Whether the request is substantial, I don't think so. Whether the request will have any adverse uh, environmental effects, it will not. Is the uh, difficulty self-created? Yes, it is, but I am uh, not inclined to deny the variance on that basis alone. So I am making a motion then to approve the variance as written. I'll second. second. All right, roll call please, B. Mr. Delacour? Yes. Mr. Lowenstein? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Ball? Yes. Mr. Yes. All right, so the variance is granted, but Ms. Magnata should check in with the building department. Okay, thank okay, you very you're much. Welcome. Have a good evening. You as well. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Next up on the agenda. Appeal number 237791, Area Variance, Cesar Barzalo. Seeking an Area Variance Section 24037 of District Regulations in an R20 Zoning District, where fences in the front yards can have a maximum height of four feet, the applicant is requesting a height of six feet along two streets, thus requesting a variance to allow a six-foot fence along Roberts Road and Spook Hill Road. The property is located at 15 Spook Hill Road on 1.03 acres and is identified as tax grid number 6257-01-003924 in the town of Wappinger. Can I have a motion please to open the public hearing? Motion open. I'll make a motion to open the public hearing. Have second. a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so moved. Okay, so for the record, state your name and and your, your relationship to the applicant. Yep, my name is Edwin. Um, I'm just a business partner. Gotcha. And again, for the audience and anybody listening and the board, again, exactly what you need and why you need it. Sure. So uh, it's a twofold. So we're looking for a six foot fence. Um, we already have a portion that's already up um, facing a main road in the front of the property. Um, and we're looking to, on Spook Hill Road, to have an open fence following until the edge of the 
uh, main structure, and then along Roberts Road, it's supposed to be a closed uh, wooden fence, um, pretty much along that road. That's, that's it. Right. Now we, we, we've been out there a couple of times, and uh, see what's going on there. More than a couple. Of times. Can you give them one a couple times? See what you got going on there. Now, just a, just a, a, a couple of things. I know we we want to. We might mention we did receive a uh, an email from a, from a neighbor, and we are getting a number of complaints about just kind of the the way that the property is being kept. You know, I'm gonna say trash, debris, that kind of stuff. Seems like a like a contractor's yard kind of a thing. And I, I know the building department is going to probably speak to you about that and, and cleaning that up. All right. Uh, as far as a variance goes, um, you know, we, we can vote on that tonight. Um, I know we have, we have some concerns over the six foot fence. Um, going along the, 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 the six foot fence that is up, um, you know, we're, we're inclined to let that stay as is. Okay. However, I mean, I'm gonna speak for myself. The other guys can, can chime in as well. As far as the, the rest of the fence along Spook Hill Road goes, uh, I'm inclined not to grant the six foot fence, but a four foot, because it's a pretty high berm already. Uh, as far as Roberts Road is concerned, since you're kind of in a depressed area, the grade's kind of depressed in that area anyway, I'm inclined to uh, grant the six foot fence on that side, but, but not the front side. I, if you guys have uh, any other questions too or concerns. I just have Go. one, I just sure. want to clarify sure. that when does the four foot fence along Spook Hill connect to the six foot, four foot fence on Roberts Road? No. There'll be an open <coughs> space there, okay. Yeah, that corner where the stop sign is, like there would not be any fencing there, no. Right. Um, where we had the tape when you guys came, like that would be yeah. like the edge of the house. Right. So, no, Correct. Thank right. you. All right, so there'll, there'll be a gap between the two. Yeah, right. That's what we, I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Thank you. And, and it sounds like we, we discussed that there's going to be a gate put in at any point. And it sounds like that was, uh, you were unsure. Mm -hmm. You know, if we, if we do vote on this, you know, we, we, you wouldn't be able to put in a six foot gate, obviously, right? It would be four and under unless you want to be here again. Yeah, I mean, as of now, there's no plans for that, so I can't um, give an answer of a yes or no to that. Um, but obviously, if that's a thought down the road, then you know we'll do it again, and then I, we'll see I, each other. I, guess. I would, I would think if, if there is that that thought down the road, if you're going to do that, and it's in the front yard, right? I mean, if you were gonna, if you were thinking about a six foot, you're going to be back here again, right? Yeah. Um, uh, about the existing six foot fence in the front, when that was installed. Uh, we installed that in the end of February, beginning oh, of March. So this year, so. Correct. No, four, four months ago. Mm -hmm. Right. And you had no permit that time? You no, there was oh. no permit. We didn't know that it changed. Um, oh, I, I was made aware later in November, I think, is when the code November. changed. And also, we did notice that you complied with removing the uh, wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The property. two walls that came from the edge of the driveway column out. Thank you. All right, good point, Tom. Hey, can, can you give us a general idea on your guys' time frame for this property? Because it seems like there is a, you know, you're, you're renovating the house. There was a lot of debris in the depressed portion in the back. Like, do you, do you have a notion of, of when, you know, because a lot of the comments we're getting is that you know, the site has been a mess for a long time. Like, do you have a notion of, of how much longer this is going to be under construction? Well, um, I mean, in the beginning, there was like a, a delay in, in terms of like the permits and like the whole process. So, you know, unfortunately, we didn't get started where we wanted to because initially we wanted to obviously start in the house and then move on to the other structure and the rest of the property. But we've had to modify, you know, our game plan. But in terms of timeline to finish, I mean, we would like at least the house to be done before winter. Um, but if not, like at least by early next year. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it seems like the focus has been, has been a lot of landscaping. So you guys Correct. are moving on the house. Yeah, like now we're on the house. Yeah, we have like the permit. We had um, inspection the other day. So like we're we're moving on the house now. Like the focus is on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and the garage has been done up. It looks like very nicely. Mm -hmm. 
it, it's clear to you guys that that can't be a separate apartment. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know. Good. So just on the record, um, we have gotten complaints of the way the property is being made, lack of maintaining. So I'm putting you on record today that you have a week and we're gonna come back out. You need to get rid of the trash, you need to clean up. There's no reason to have everything strewn away. And behind you, that neighbor is looking at the back of that and everything you've tossed. So you need to spend a day going back there with whoever's helping you and, and spend a day cleaning it up so the neighbors don't have to look at that. Sure. Okay. I mean, we could see it in one of the pictures that we have. Just, it's kind of difficult to see maybe from that distance, but right Yeah, it's there, like right there, that's where we were. Yeah. A large pile of trash there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know what we're referring to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so. Now, anybody in the audience have any comments, concerns, questions? Could you just come to the microphone and state your name and address, please? Sure. Hi, Delia Engstrom. I live at 21 Spook Hill Road. Um, I was before you guys previously when they came for a variance on a front porch uh, oh, close right, to Spook right, Hill right. Road. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as you guys have uh, addressed, it's pretty much a constant disaster over there. The things they have tried to do have sometimes worked. The delay in the work being done, as you know, they started without permits, blew the gas line, roads were shut down, built a beautiful wall, had to take it down. The trash has been there since April. Hmm. This is not like, oops, we didn't take out the trash this week. This right. is porta potties at the edge of the road piles of trash, debris being thrown on the neighbors who live behind them, who are not me, that is their property line. Plantings being cut down that were not theirs. There is just an utter disregard for the neighbors, the fact that you are part of the neighborhood, you are not on your own in the county on a ton of acreage. In regards to tonight's variance on the fence, um, I just moved back to the area two years ago, but I did grow up on Roberts Road, learned to drive on that road. It is a tough turn to turn onto from Spook Hill Road. You are constantly looking down Roberts Road, gauging if cars are coming up. They have a tough time pulling out, gauging traffic coming in the other direction. I would really like uh, as much eyes on that fence going in as possible. Uh, I'm sure there's some sort of, I don't know what it was, Article 5, Section 240 or 250 about line of sight and stuff. Um, yeah. You know, like a fence to hide the mess sounds great, but I feel like we're really getting way ahead of like, if you haven't kept up with everything that you've been doing, why are we worrying about a fence? Take care of the mess that you've made. And then if we think that, you know, things are going on great and you've made these amends and the property looks better, sure, let's put up a fence, but you're not letting anyone in the area believe that this is gonna be a fence that's going to like be maintained and add any kind of value to the property. The trees that have been cut have been there, the piles of mulch have been there, the broken windows have been there, the trash has been there, the porta potty, the fence permit or otherwise, the, uh, birds, chickens, exotic birds, something, the owner of the property, presumably living in the garage because there is, I don't know, four or five work trucks, snow plows there all the time. Looks like he's in there all night long. It's just, it's not a good situation. I'm sure they're lovely people. It's not a personal attack. They are just doing a horrible job at this place and I would really ask that you guys not approve things that they have no business in having at this point in time. Yeah, you totally understood. And it's so as far as like the site distance goes, they, mm -hmm. they have to maintain that. And the, 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 the location of the fence, mm -hmm. right, is gonna, it's gonna as, it, as it approaches Roberts Road, is gonna terminate short of Roberts. And the fence that goes down Roberts is down the hill ways and then starts, right? So the, so the, basically the radius of the turn, it, there's no fence there at all mm -hmm. that's gonna remain there. And so they, they do have to maintain the same distance and the building department has to see to it that mm -hmm. they do do that. 
As far as the trash and debris is concerned, we have heard Ms. Roberti say we're going to give the the you know the applicant a week to clean it up, yeah. and, it, and if they don't, then they'll start getting fined. Yeah, I mean it's 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 well overdue. It's been 15, 16 months of. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, construction site is one thing. We've all lived by them. People mm -hmm. come, you build something, but you don't just continually leave your trash, a house under tarps, buckets everywhere, garbage everywhere. You don't get to just keep making a mess and not clean up after yourself. I got it. Understood. So. And I was going to make a stipulation, too, as far as the cleanup is concerned, the portage on. You guys can move that. So it's uh, basically the line of sight of everybody. It's kind of right in the middle of the driveway there now. You just slide it over. So... You know, everybody's not looking at it, kind of a thing. So you don't have to see that. No. Um, Barbara, just a quick question for you. Um, as far as the ruling on the variances, um, I'm inclined to uh, maybe maybe postpone that ruling to the following meeting to make sure that the applicants comply with the cleanup rule. I mean, is that something we can do? Okay. Uh, I, I, I think that you guys are, uh, you know, thinking out loud, thinking of if we would, if we close the public hearing, but we would then just postpone the decision to the following meeting, procedurally, right? Okay, I'm, if, if you guys are all yeah, in, in agreement with that, then I, I, I yeah, think I mean, that may, may help out expedite things a little can bit. Can we just adjourn the public Hearing out to the next. Well, we we. Why why should we close? Should we adjourn adjourn the public hearing, or we can close yeah. the public hearing? Why should we Why should we close it? Why won't we just adjourn? I would public? adjourn it to the next meeting. Okay, okay, all right. So then, what we'll do then, and we're going to make a motion to adjourn the public hearing. Go ahead. Can I just ask? Yes. Edwin, um, do you have chickens there? Right now, uh, I have chickens. Well, you're there every day, so you know you have chickens. No, I just, no we have birds. I know you have birds inside the garage. Point, but I don't know if they're still there, so I, I wasn't there How big is this property? One acre, hmm. one acre, one acre. Okay, so when you go there tomorrow, if you have chickens, they can't stay. You need two acres in the town. Okay, exotic birds that are kept in the house, taken out on your patio, that's, that's a pet. But you can't have the chickens. And I've heard from quite a few neighbors, you have a lot of trucks there. What kind of trucks are they? Are they for a landscaping so business? There are Ford, uh, Ford trucks. They're regular Ford vehicles. But are they landscaping trucks? You can't run your they're, business from that property. They're not landscaping vehicles. There's, there's no plows. There's, there's no plows there, yes. Okay, you can't have commercial, all these commercial vehicles there. So if that's your intention, to have them there on your property, you're going to have to find somewhere to keep them. Oh, right now we're working on the house, so I use them. But you're not right. using not snow. snow plows right now. And correct. this is a snow problem is that the neighbors are upset about because you, you have commercial vehicles there that are not intended for a private one-family neighborhood. So unless they're working somehow connected to the construction of the house, they have to be removed. Okay, and this board is going to put this off a month, so you have 30 days from today you have a week to clean the place. That's on me. You have till you come back to do something with the, the, all the construction vehicles. And in a week, I don't want to see chickens either. Okay? So go back to the owner, your partner, and explain that. Just the vehicles. I mean, we use them. The vehicles we're not going to get rid of. We use them to bring equipment you know, that we need to do the work in the house. So but if they're your day-to-day -day vehicles, they're they shouldn't the be parked. The other ones are not there. We have other vehicles that we use. Um, these are just the ones We're going to do a site visit, and we'll see what kind of vehicles are there, and then we'll have that discussion on site. Hey, do we have any rules about exotic birds? Like, like what constitutes exotic birds? Like, what are you allowed? If they have parrots or things in their house. Yeah. Is that a house? That's, that's a garage. Is that, you know? <laughs> They're going to be, that's the other thing. There has been some discussion about somebody, your partner, or you living in the garage. No one should be there overnight. It's a garage. It's not a living thing. I know I've seen pictures of your birds in there and a bed, so the bed that can't be there anymore. We're waiting for the house. I know, but, that, but when I see a bed, I assume someone's sleeping in it. So then remove that. So when I come out, I don't see that. Okay? 
So we're not talking like peacocks, <laughs> right? We're, we're, we're talking about <laughs> small birds in the them. house, not, not just random birds running they have around. To fit under the, they have to fit like a farm animal. Okay. If they're not a farm animal, then you really can't control like a duck. But those type of birds would tend to leave anyway. Okay. All right, so, 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 thank so, so thank you. I appreciate it. No, it's thank an unfortunate situation. That sure. No, nobody in the immediate area which is what's going on, but. Um, gotcha. Is, so. But thank, no, thank you for appreciate the comments. Yeah, thank sure. Um, I'm guessing you have something to say. <laughs> please, your name and address, please. My name is Beth Devine, and I am in 47 Spook Hill Road. Yes. And I just want to ask one question. I thought I heard the gentleman say that it was an open fence in the front. Or is this a closed? Correct, it's an open fence. Like a split rail fence? What's no. an open fence? No, uh, how can I best describe it? You'll have a, a slat and then a gap, and then it's almost like a picket fence, like, a, like your white picket fence. There, there is, you're obviously aware, there's a high berm, so yes. it's four feet. It's going to be way up there. That's correct. Um, and it, you, there's a historic, there was a historic stone wall there. Um, as a neighbor, I'm very concerned um, when people drive down Spook Hill, it looks like a disaster. And putting up a fence is just covering that up. Well, it, it has been this way. I, I don't want to repeat what Delia sure. has said, okay. but it should not be. And I know that some of the work they've done is really very nice, but there are many trucks there, and they are there long periods of time and there is equipment, plows and things in the back. So my concern is a fence is just hiding what's happening back there. What is really going on? So. Right, and, and to, to your point, you know, that's one of the reasons why we're uh, most likely gonna stipulate that it's four foot and it's open. And so you get, you can but basically to see over it or see through it. And then the building department, as you heard Robert, uh, Ms. Berberi say that we're gonna be checking in periodically. Yeah, the, the, the four foot fence they're proposing from the, the driveway basically to the, to the end of the house. So it's not. I'm sorry, say that. The, the four foot fence that they're proposing, or the six foot fence, open fence that they're proposing is from the driveway to the end of the house. So it's not, it's not the not full the length of the property line. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's still, it's covering yeah. up sure. what is happening behind. And the house, of course, is lower. So you've got a fence that's coming up almost to the roof line. Um, anyway, right. there are a lot of people on Spook Hill that are concerned. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate you stepping up to the mic. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, so I, I am going to, if there's any more comments, anybody else in the audience? Well, I, I'm gonna make a motion to adjourn the public hearing to the next meeting which is okay. most likely going to be the end of July. July 25th. Yeah. July 25th. July 25th. It's not one of the meetings we're going to be canceling, right? No. Okay. That's be the ones we'll be keeping. Okay. Right. Right. So I'm going to make a motion then to adjourn the public hearing to the July 25th meeting. You had some homework to do and some information and some things you need to do with Barbara. And if Tom second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. So you're on again for the 25th, but you got some things you got to take care of, right? Okay. All right, we'll see you on the 25th. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Next up tonight, it's a discussion. Appeal number 237798, area variance, 33 Middlebush Road, seeking an area variance section 24037 of district regulations in an R40 slash, I'm sorry, R20 slash 40 zoning district, where 75 feet to a county road front yard property line is required. The applicant can provide 29 feet for the reconstruction of a dilapidated building structure 
for contractor storage, thus requesting a variance of 46 feet. Where 50 feet to the rear yard property line is required, the applicant can provide 39 feet for the reconstruction of a dilapidated building structure for contractor storage, thus requesting a variance of 11 feet. The property is located at 33 Middle Bush Road on a total of 1.75 acres and is identified as tax grid number 61570139683737. Point eighty-seven acres and six one five seven zero one four one four eight four zero point eighty-eight acres in the town of Wappinger. Okay. So for everybody's benefit, your name and an address and sure. serial number. Um, <laughs> Troy Wojcikowski, I'm the engineer for the applicant. Gotcha. John Calvella is the applicant. He's up front uh, to answer any questions that I can't answer for you. Um, the building is the, sorry, John, it's the ugly block building uh, just east of uh, Town Hall here. Sir, can you turn the microphone sure. up? Please? Yeah, please. Thank you. Thanks. Sure. Uh, the, the property is the existing uh, block building uh, just down from Town Hall on the north side of Middle Bush Road. Um, this board actually um, visited this project. Uh, several years ago, yeah. a use variance yes. was issued by the board, uh, considering that the building would be renovated uh, in, in place. Um, the project received conditional planning board approval a little over a year ago, I think it was. Um, and in, in the time since, a st structural uh, review was done of the building, and it was determined that it was too structurally uh, unsound to renovate. So the building has to be uh, removed and mm. we're proposing to build it in place. Um, and, and so that's what triggers coming to your board for the area variances. Uh, as you noted, the we're here for a front yard setback uh, because Middle Bush Road is a county road. The setback is 75 feet. The existing building is 29 feet from the street. So we're re requesting a 46 foot variance uh, for the front yard setback. Uh, the rear property, the rear of the property uh, butts uh, Wappingers Junior High, and that rear yard setback is 50 feet, and the existing building is 39 feet. So we're requesting 11 foot variance to get to that 39 uh, foot rear yard setback. Uh, so we submitted photographs, and of course, the application runs through uh, all of the tests that the board has to consider uh, in issuing. Um, these variances. Uh, I'm not going to go through each one of them, but in summary, um, I guess we can focus on will it uh, create a, a negative impact to the, to the neighborhood. Um, it's an existing building, and uh, obviously, aesthetically, it's going to be a, much of an improvement to the, uh, to the uh, neighborhood because of um, us removing that building and, and constructing a nice building. The use is going to be a low impact um, structure, which I think was basically stipulated in the use variance that uh, your board issued uh, a few years ago, is going to be contractor storage. Uh, so we currently have a, a site plan application before the planning board, because um, again, removing the building rather than renovating it in place kind of opened up a mini can of worms on us. Um, as you know, Middle Bush Road, it consists of basically mix, mixes of uses. Uh, there's residential properties, there's commercial, there's um, emergency uh, facilities. Of course, WAP Junior is a restaurant down the road. Um, so it really is, I guess, in keeping with that mixed, uh, mixed use uh, of properties. I actually prepared a, um, a handout, which I didn't in submit, which if I could approach the board and hand these out. Thank you. Thanks. So you're essentially, <coughs> excuse me, maintaining the footprint Correct. of the we're existing gonna, building. We're going to build it right. in the same exact footprint. Yeah. So the, the um, Google Maps image I just handed out basically 
points out to, um, again, consistency with the neighborhood. There's various properties adjacent to this property and down the street where buildings are, you know, very close to the street. So this, it's, it's not an oddball as far as that goes in the neighborhood. Um, there was some discussion with the planning board. If we do have to demolish it, can we reorient it on the site? Um, there's many restrictions on the site that don't permit us to do that. Um, there's basically one area on the property that's suitable for the septic system, and that's in the front, uh, front corner up uh, along Middlebush Road. There's wetlands on the west side of the building, and there's wetlands in the northeast corner of the property. So with all those restrictions and setbacks for the, the well that we have to put in, the uh, septic system for our building, and then the adjacent wells and septic systems, the best place for that building is basically to stay where, it, where it's at. Um, that's all I have, really, if the board has questions so, for me. Tim, so I'm going to ask you actually a question for Barbara. So Barbara, they are maintaining the footprint of the existing building because they're starting new. They need these areas. Gotcha. And I did see, um, we did receive today, I think, the um, input from county planning that it's a local jurisdiction on this. They don't gotcha. have any comments on it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Do you have any additional drawings of the you know, elevations of the building uh, that we could see? We do have those. I don't have them with me tonight, um, but we can certainly provide those for the public hearing and for our next submission. Yeah, that would be, be nice to see as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can yeah. certainly do that. You could send them out before, too, if you want to be or Barb, and they'll get them to us. I'm sorry? Say it again. If you want to send the drawings in sooner than the public hearing to get them to us so we oh, sure. could look at them, you could do that also. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Yep. Okay. And then it would give us a chance to get a peek at it, too, before the, before the public hearing. So we are, we are going to be out. Right. The front of the building has a... a, a a sign and a drawing on that uh, on that sign of the building is that what it's going to look like? That's about what it's going to look like. Yeah. yeah. So I could steal the sign and bring that in. Right. <laughs> 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 okay. Any other questions, you guys? No. No. Um, do we want to do? You know, if a, if a site visit would actually be necessary. Right. I mean, but we, it's been quite a while since we've been there. Good. We probably could do. It's up to you. So we could do a site visit. Hmm. The same footprint, so, right? Yeah, same footprint. Yeah, I, you guys. What do you guys think? I think we probably should. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's been should. it's been a while since yes, we've been so out there. Should. So we'll do. Sure. What we'll do we'll do a site visit the Saturday before the twenty fifth. Which is July 22nd. Thank you. That was coming, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do a site visit on July 22nd. Okay. Would you like me to be there or John? Huh? Or um, not necessary? I don't know, really. I mean, it pretty, everything's pretty much there. I mean, so you really don't yeah. need to be, I don't think. Okay. So we'll get a good feel. We know that you're going to be the exact footprint, basically. Right. So we really don't know. I don't think we really need you there. Okay. Are, are you maintaining the foundation, or is that being ripped up, new foundation? That's being ripped there? up as well. That okay. was one of the key things that couldn't be salvaged. Okay, so we'll do a site visit on 722. We'll be there around 9 o'clock, but we, like I said, you guys really don't need to be there. Okay. Uh, we'll schedule the public hearing then for the July 25th meeting. And if you could get those uh, you know, elevations to us prior yep. to that to bar, that would be great. Not a problem. Okay. I think that was it. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Have a good night. You Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Next up on the agenda is discussion. Appeal number seven, I'm sorry, 237799, area variance. Julius Morton seeking an area variance, uh, section 24037 of district regulations in an R20 zoning district, where 40 feet to the rear property line is required. The applicant can provide 27 feet for the construction of a 16 foot by 32 foot 
in ground pool are thus requesting a variance of 13 feet. The property is located at 12 Fox Hill Road on 1.00 acres and is identified as tax grid number <clears throat> 6257 and the town of Wappinger. Okay, how are you? <laughs> good, good evening everyone. I need to hear um, your name and address, please. Julius Morton, I'm the residential property owner at 12 Fox Hill Road. Gotcha. Uh, my, myself and my wife are looking to construct a 16 foot by 32 foot in ground propane heated pool. However, um, we're uh, 40 feet uh, of is required to the rear of the property line. We can provide 27. Uh, thus, we are requesting a variance of 13 feet. Gotcha. And I may uh, add that the, at the rear of the property, it abuts a uh, uh, property owned by the town. There's no residential neighbor behind us. Behind you. Correct. Gotcha. And it looks like, according to your plan, it looks like you're pretty, pretty tight to the house where you want to put it, the proposed location. Okay, it's pretty close to the house already. Yes, it's, yeah. it's abutting a, uh, a patio that we have. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The, uh, the pool equipment in the back corner, what, what is that? The pool equipment will be filter and a, a heating uh, system for the pool. Is that within a structure or like what is the size of that? Uh, I have the contractor that will be installing. Um, Want to come up, Jimmy? Sure. Can Jim, I say who just, you are? Yeah, just pool company and all that. Yes, I'm James Hughes from Under the Sun Improvements. Uh, we're going to be constructing the pool. Pool equipment takes up about um, six by five area. It's basically it's a concrete it's, pad. Yeah, so it's going to be on a pad, and that's where his service is coming out of that area. Okay, uh, we don't have any uh, setback requirements for that. It depends what size. I'll look at it, but if it's if it's sizable, it should be at least 10 feet from the side and the rear. Oh, I don't know. Well, it, it's low lying, right? It's yeah, it's low lying. Yeah, so. And we can't be near a window. That's the right. law with the heater. I would just try to keep it five feet from the property line on both sides. Okay. It's easier to service anyway. Yeah, it looks like you have plenty of space to do that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And that shed has already moved? That says shed to be moved? Yes, that, uh, that shed was already moved. Um, it was inspected by the town uh, previously. And that permit was, uh, we, we had applied for a permit for that. It was closed out. Oh, that's successful gotcha. inspection. Gotcha. Okay. Mr. Morton, we, uh, we saw your house not long ago, right? Yes, you were at the property, I believe, back in May. May, and, uh, yeah. Welcome uh, to come back again. <laughs> and so you have all those, like you said, it says conservation. It's woods basically behind you. It is woods, correct. What is a prop proposed stockpile? What does that mean? On the, just curious, in I'll, the very I'll back. I'll go next. Yeah. Um, Mr. Lynn, who is the architect, he usually submits plans that way because some people, some towns require where you're going to put the dirt. We've been through this before, so that's where we, the dirt will be till we pull it back. So that just just temporary. It's all temporary. Yes. As the excavation of the pool. Absolutely. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I don't think I've seen that on a plan. And there's no plan to have additional uh, decking around the pool. No decking. Okay. Uh, hardscaping. Yeah, uh, hardscaping. You can do the whole property. It sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do a site visit to as well at your place on uh, the 22nd, about 9 9 9:30, 9:15, 9:30, July 22nd. <clears throat> Come out. Um, yeah, we have a survey. I don't know if, the area, if you have any way of identifying the property line. Is there any? Was it? Is it? Oh, uh, they have copies. Yeah, they have the well, survey. We have. We we got survey. Oh, oh. Right. I'm just saying, physically, when we go out there, there is there, there any way we, we'd be able there, to see that? Is there any way we can act on this tomorrow? There were stakes uh, put on the property line. We don't act on it tonight, and by the time they get their food for them, it's going to be the end of the season. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we were just there. This is, we were out of Fox Hill. Yeah, uh, looking at it. We were just, I mean, we know exactly what the property is. We were there. We, 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 we have to have a, have a public hearing. Can we not schedule it tonight? Well, we're going to do that. Uh -huh. I'm scared of meeting us at the sign-up. Right. 
Right, we're good, we're gonna do the site visit on the 22nd, schedule a public hearing for the 25th. Okay, and, and, and there was a survey done with stakes, uh, property yes. stakes that are there? Yeah, so maybe you that you, 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 that's existing? That's existing. We could see that, okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, we have to do a public hearing done on the 25th. That gentleman, at this time, you want the public hearing, excuse me. I'm sorry, was that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You want the pool um, laid out at that time, or? You'd be, that'd be great if you could, okay, yeah. Fine. That's easy to do. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I'll meet with him ahead of time. Sure, that's fine. It's That'd just it's helpful to confirm the dimensions, you know, make sure we're accurate. One more time, please. It's helpful to lay it out so we can confirm the dimensions and make sure everything is accurate. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, tell Larry to do it then. What was saying? It'll be prepared. Yeah, it'll be prepared. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so we're going to do, we're, we're, we'll do a uh, site visit on the 22nd, and we'll schedule a public hearing for the 25th. Okay. Excellent. I got it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, it's supposed to go out. Okay. Next. Okay, so we are we're going to Barbara. So we should uh, make the motion and be going to Okay. 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 All right, so yeah, before we do uh, get into the next application, we're going to, uh, I'm going to make a motion to go executive uh, session and uh, we'll attorney do that. Attorney client session. What's that? Attorney client session. Attorney client session. Oh, no, you're gone. You're, you're fine. Yeah. Second. You're free, you're free to go. <laughs> and so we, I made a motion. Tom second it. All in favor? Aye. Right, so Aye. moved. There, do we want to do that here or should no, we want to move? In the conference room. Okay. 